Uh, city co plow plowing capacity, <clears throat> Mr. Martin's going to speak more on that. But we went into this event uh, with more capacity than we've ever done in the history of the city with 38 trucks equipped ready to push uh, snow. Uh, before the snow arrived, we had ordered 12 additional trucks uh, from VDOT out of the Culpeper uh, station uh, to assist with that capacity. And as they were demobilized Saturday, uh, we had on order 20 more trucks from Northern Virginia private contractors to help us uh, push uh, the snow. Uh, to support our city emergency operations, <clears throat> we had ordered uh, high uh, mobility vehicles known as Humvees from the Virginia National Guard. We ordered six of those, uh, pre-positioned those throughout the fire stations around the city, and uh, they were very valuable to us in getting to our EMS patients that otherwise we were that, that would have been inaccessible with our medic units. Uh, we also use them for other various transportation needs throughout the city. One of the programs that we have attached to our citizens emergency response team, better known as CERT, uh, is uh, what uh, is called the SWAT team, and that's severe <clears throat> weather assistant teams. And those are citizens, volunteer citizens, that have four-wheel drive vehicles, and they really came out in force on this event. And like the National Guard assets, we pre-positioned them all around the city and the fire stations. And they provided the transportation for hospital workers, doctors, nurses, uh, the magistrate's office, uh, 911 police fire dispatchers. Uh, and, and literally, they had their own dispatcher. And as the need would come in, they would dispatch those four-wheel drives out. And they were also valuable to us uh, in those occasions where our own vehicles got stuck and they were able to get us loose from the ice. Uh, Pastor Tom Mercer and the congregation of Hickory, Hickory United Methodist Church happened to be hosting uh, the uh, homeless citizens in the CAST program uh, when this event hit. Uh, this event, we had about 30 homeless people uh, in the CAST shelter. Human Services, City Human Services uh, Department, Parks and Rec quickly mobilized over the weekend so that we could provide uh, day shelters uh, for those homeless citizens, uh, which uh, went off um, extremely well considering the short amount of time that we had to prepare for that. And then for the first time ever uh, in, in the history of any of these events, the city managers and the county administrators were brought together on planned conference calls uh, in the afternoons. Uh, and this really gave a face to a unified approach, a regional approach uh, to the event. Uh, these calls were hosted <clears throat> by uh, Hampton Roads Planning uh, District Commission, uh, the All Hazard Advisory Committee, uh, a, a leg of that uh, HRPDC. And so uh, being on those calls myself, it really helped in a regional approach of what other cities were doing. And some of the cities that may have been on the fence or counties that may have been on the fence uh, kind of uh, made things easier for them to make a decision one way or another. And then we also were able to see that uh, even uh, localized in a region, uh, that the impact was a lot different uh, throughout Hampton Roads. And if you were to look at a map, in which we could provide to you, it looks like someone drew a bullseye on the city of Chesapeake and said, let's drop all of the snow there. Uh, because uh, when you look at that, right, right over top of us is really where it gets the 10 to 12, 11 inch range, and then it spreads out from there. From the fire department aspect, since last Wednesday morning, the fire department has run a total of just under 700 calls for service, uh, transporting or treating 429 EMS patients. <clears throat> Many of those calls that we had were for uh, frozen pipes or, or uh, burst water pipes uh, in uh, the dwellings, apartments, businesses, uh, resulting in water damage. Uh, there were 10 significant um, major fires resulting in property damage uh, over the weekend. Uh, one of the ruptured sprinkler supply pipes at Heron's Landing on Military uh, Highway uh, flooded much of that particular unit, and uh, that resulted uh, that night in the relocation of 57 residents uh, of that facility to local hotels where they're still at tonight. And it seems like we were just briefing council on the historical impact on Hurricane Matthew. It seemed like we were just standing here doing that, and yet again we face another a uh, weather challenge that came our way, winter storm Grayson, uh, what the uh, uh, people are calling a, a, a cyclone bomb <clears throat> for the first time. That was a, a term that we had heard. And uh, it also brought historic challenges to the city. And as we do with all major events, uh, we keep a live running uh, after action item uh, in our web EOC as we go through the event. We'll take those items uh, after this event, get back together, 
and use those for continuous improvement in our preparedness and response for the city's capacity. Any questions or comments? Any questions from the council?